will always recommend that you draw with pencil first in case you make any mistakes and you want to erase. But I'm going to draw with Sharpie today so that you can see what I'm doing a little bit better. We're drawing a square cow first. So I'm going to start by putting a square kind of towards the top of my page, leaving room for the body and the legs. Right there. Off the side of the square face, we're going to add two lines and then drop two longer lines down. This will be kind of a rectangle body. Do you see how the big rectangle goes behind the face? Now we're going to draw some legs for our cow. We're going to use rectangles, small ones. We'll draw two for the ones that are in front and add some little ones behind. I drew a line across and then a line down to make the hooves for my cow's feet. Next we're going to work on the face again. Underneath our first square we're going to add a curvy line to make a half circle. Then we're going to add two eyes. And inside each eye we're going to add a darker circle and color it in. I'm going to give my cow two dots for its nose. Next we're going to do the ears. I'm going to make these cow ears going straight up. Two curvy lines and a point on top for the ears. Then I'm just going to add another curvy line inside the ears and then two curvy lines for the horns. Did you know, not just boy cows have horns, girl cows have horns too. Which one is yours? Pick a side and add two lines for the tail and then another upside down teardrop shape. Then we're going to start putting in all of our organic shaped spots. They're going to be all loosey goosey and you can put them wherever you think you want them. forget when you're done putting in all your shapes that you should color them in black or brown if you want. Let's try a circle cow. I'm going to use my Sharpie again, but I still recommend you use pencil. Let's draw a smaller circle towards the top of your page, but leave space at the top so we can put in ears and horns. Next, we're going to draw a larger circle for the body, but remember the face is in front of the body, so we won't see all of that big circle. Then I'm going to add in two lines for each of our front legs and then connect them underneath so you have kind of a rectangle shape. We want to add in two more legs but they're going to be slightly smaller and in a little bit. That way we know that they're farther away from us. Add hooves, I'm going to do kind of a wide U shape or maybe a letter C if you turned your paper sideways. Down the middle of that shape I'm going to add a line to create hooves on each one of our feet. Next let's add in our nose for our cow. On the rectangle we did a half circle underneath the rectangle. This time we want to put the half circle going the other direction inside this circle. Now it's time for some ears. 
On our rectangle cow, I made the ears going up. On this one, I want them kind of pointing down. It'll give the face a little bit of a different expression. And don't forget those curvy lines for the horns. Now let's add in two circles for the eyes. And then another smaller circle inside that you color in. My cow this time is going to be looking off to the side. And this one I'm going to give some little lines for expression over the eyes and then two dots for the nose. Pick a side and add a tail. Remember two lines and kind of a teardrop shape. You can add in some hair lines and then add in your spots and color them in.